Hey guys, how's it going? This is Evan from EvanMods.com and welcome back to my first PC build videos. We're going to be installing the Corsair AX1200 power supply today and uh, yeah, it's 1200 watts power anything I want to put in it. Let's go ahead and just start getting it unpackaged here and take it out of that main box that you see on the outside that shows you all the features and then we can go ahead and open up the box and show you all the contents on the inside. The first thing that you'll see is the user manual, nothing really special there, it's for three different power supplies and then we have the power cable and then we have to, to go through all these cables and cables and cables since this is a fully modular power supply. Now this means uh, you know, you won't have all the extra cables that you don't need but I'll show you more in a second. What you have here is a case badge, screws, zip ties, nothing really fancy. Uh, but now we can get to the main part of this, the actual power supply, and it comes into this velvet bag for some reason. I'm not sure why they put it in that, but we can begin to remove it, and it's also covered in this other plastic bag, <laughs> just packaging and more packaging, but we can take it out of that, and uh, you see the big fan on the front of it, and um, that keeps it cool, and this is a gold plus power supply, so it's going to be really efficient. Now what modular means is, as you can see there, there's a whole bunch of different plugs and this reduces cables that you don't need so you can only plug in what you're going to use so it tidies up your case and keeps airflow better. Alright, now here, look at the size difference between my old power supply and the new one. It's just crazy. But um, you got to make sure your case will fit this if you are looking into this power supply. The next thing is all the cables. So there's the main power connector for the motherboard. Here's Molex to floppy drive connectors and um, here's the CPU connectors and then we have some more Molex power back there and then after that we just have um, just like peripherals and uh, the SATA connectors and then a whole bunch of PCI Express connectors for any of your graphics cards and so on so just like six of those I think so quite a lot now we can go ahead and look at what my case looks before switching it out and you can see my little power supply down there there it is 650 max so I got a big step up now let's go ahead and start taking out cables there's some main power and then we can remove the 4 pin CPU power connector up at the top and then we can go ahead and pull out you know stuff for hard drives there's one hard drive um, then my disk drive and then just uh, we'll, we'll remove the hot swap drive there where you can switch out hard drives fast. Let's go ahead and remove the screws so that we can actually take the power supply out and uh, then we'll take off this wire cover that is supposed to cover up all the cables and stuff so it just looks better. Let's go ahead and remove that and then we can actually pull this power supply out after we push in all the wires from the back because I've rotted most of them through the back of the case so that you don't see them and it keeps airflow a lot better. We just push them through a little bit and try not to pull any other wires that go to the front panel um, but then we can actually pull out the power supply pretty easily after we get that removed we can go on to place in the new power supply and it is quite a bit bigger as you can see we set that in place and then we can put in um, the four screws that I'm using to hold it in place and uh, it, this can be flipped up upside down or or any way that you want um, but then we can replace that cable cover, I guess, or cable shield, and um, just put all the other cables through it, and then it's going to look like that. And we can begin to actually start connecting them. So there's a main power connector, and we'll go ahead and plug that in. And then we'll plug in actually two of the connectors for PCI Express and the CPU. So you can see I've got or, all right, two for PCI Express and then one for CPU. Here's my CPU cord. And then uh, I, it didn't quite reach enough, so I have this four pin, or this eight pin to two four pin um, splitters. So that's what I'm using to reach it all the way up to the top. And you see me plug it in there. The next thing to plug in is some peripherals and SATA connectors. So we're going to plug that into the hot swap bay um, and then connect one of them to my fan controller. The next thing we're going to plug in is another one of those which is going to be used for my disk drive up at the very top of my case and it did actually reach which is really good. And then we'll plug one into that hard drive that I removed at the beginning. And then another one is all these connectors for the front headers. And that's what it looks like after it's completely done so it looks pretty nice. The new power supply is awesome and we'll be able to cover anything I want to put in it. And actually I had two extra PCI Express slots which are going to be used for my graphics card that you can see right there. 
Not that one, but I have a new one, and it's coming up in the next episode. So if you want to stick around for that, you can go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'll be coming out with a video very soon on the new GTX 570 graphics card by NVIDIA. So thanks for watching, and uh, I hope to see you guys later. To continue on my first PC build, and uh, we'll go ahead and finish this up with the motherboard, RAM, and actually the CPU. So once again, thank you, and I will see you later.